Hey, uh, welcome back. This is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. How are you guys doing? Uh, today we're going to go over uh, another uh, offensive formation in my uh, Power Wing Beast offensive uh, series for uh, youth football. Uh, it's the Trig formation, which is also uh, the Diamond formation. So we're going to go over a couple of base plays that I run out of this formation. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So here's the trig formation right here. You've got uh, got an even line set up. You can overload or uh, big. I call this even. If you overload it, it's big. Uh, but I've got a quarterback, fullback, halfback, wingback, and my tailback here. And these guys are usually sitting over the gap here between the tackle and the guard. I saw this formation. To be honest, I think from a Packers uh, game about five years ago, loved it. Uh, it gives you uh, kind of some split formation uh, plays and also some eye plays. And it's, uh, it's a really good downhill uh, running formation, power formation, which I, I love since I'm a more uh, ball control, defensive-minded uh, coach. I like my offense to... Uh, to really pound it out, control the clock, and do that kind of thing. And so that's what the uh, diamond formation, the trig formation has. And, you know, if you wanted to go into a pistol, you could move your quarterback into a shotgun, and that's kind of the pistol set there. Uh, and you can run it out of that very easily. So, uh, And uh, you can run a lot of double wing plays for you double wing guys. These guys just kind of moved in. So you can run similar double wing plays out of this, which is one reason uh, I run this formation because I run a lot of double wing stuff too. So there's some uh, antidotes there. Uh, so let's get to the first play. So uh, I call this first play a trick 33 dive. It's very simple. Uh, the three back is on this side. Four back is on this side. Two backs here. 33 dive. It's going uh, three back into the three hole here. Uh, everybody's got action to the other side of the ball. We're in an even set. We split block here at this hole, and it's just a quick, very, very quick fullback uh, dive. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get two or three yards here, not really much more than that. Uh, if you set this play up or you can use this set, this play to set up the sweeps, uh, it's a really nice play, especially – in a 6-2, because you got a guy here, a guy here, a guy here, and this is the linebacker here. You can pop the linebacker really quick because there's going to be that gap there. Uh, and this trig 33 really works great for that. The next play out of the diamond formation, or what I call the trig, is the 25 uh, lead counter. Basically, we're countering over here on this little dive play. There's a spin action by the quarterback. And really, this trig formation versus the eye is trig is really got all the quarterbacks spinning. It's really a counter formation, if you want to think about it that way. He's always do the quarterback in this formation is always kind of countering around. Uh, and so this is a this is a lead counter to the five hole. Two backs making his step here, his counter step, the fullback. It looks like I've got going after the D end here. Uh, this jaw 70 Bill is telling everybody to block down, but this is telling 70 Bill is telling the seven tight end to block the linebacker, which I nicknamed Bill. And so uh, you've got uh, the tailback coming through there. Uh, and you can pull and do a lot of different things. You can look at my... Uh, uh, blocking videos for that because I, I can block every play separately so I don't set up blocking uh, on the play sheets here uh, in total uh, but you can uh, determine what blocking pattern you're going to need what scheme you're going to need to call uh, based on your defense and the defense the opponent's playing and and the play that you've got called here so let's uh, move on. That was so. Here you got a twenty a trig twenty seven counter toss sweep. Looks like I've got a bunch of pulling going on. I've got the two guards and the tight end here. It's a sweep. It's a counter sweep going away. I've got the dive here. Fullbacks coming over here. I've got a counter sweep going here. Quarterback spinning around in there. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. And looks like it's a right angle block with pulling going on. 
And like I said, you can you can do your own uh, blocking scheme you want there. I've got some more uh, diagram, uh, some more pulling stuff going on in this particular chart here. But that's a trick tr 27 counter toss sweep, and it is a toss here. Uh, that plays pretty good. One thing you can do is uh, uh, sometimes you can split out this tight end here and block down on the D end, and that's uh, it's up to you guys there. Uh, this is a great uh, split backfield play, the 45 cross buck. It's, it's just that normal, you know, fullback comes this way, this guy steps, and then he comes back this way. That's why the tailback's going this It helps it out a lot because the tailback's going this way a little bit. And these guys can get a little deeper to help that, that work out. Great play, especially you pull the guard around there. Uh, really nice cross buck play. And uh, the trig formation diamond gives you a little extra help with the linebacker because you got the tailback back there. Uh, once again, you've got uh, this is a trig 45 power uh, lead slant run. I call slant run when it's going into this uh, off tackle here. And uh, so you've got the tailback leading through, the fullback leading through, and then the wingbacks coming through, quarterback spun out here. And you can either have him boot out. I've got him come on over and sweep it in case I wanted to pass here to the tight end. So that's the trick, 20, uh, 45 power lead. Now you've got a BB split here at this hole for the blocking. Here's a trick 47 power sweep. So if this halfback or wingback here is pretty fast, you've got a power sweep going on with all those guys, wingbacks coming around. And you can certainly pull, like I've got down here, I've got a Roger track block set up. But I've got UNC pull, which is any uncovered guy I could pull. And you could pull if the, 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 no, the guards were uncovered in this tackle, you could pull those guys around. Or any type of pulling scheme that you've got set up, you could certainly uh, do that out of this Trig 47 power sweep. Uh, but like I said, you can see how, uh, how uh, I guess, I can't think of a word here, but how great this formation is. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this formation um, with these three backs in the backfield. So it gives you a lot of... Uh, a lot of variations of plays that look the same to do a lot of different things. So a lot of misdirection stuff you can do out of this. I absolutely love misdirection. I love power, and I love misdirection, and I love the pop pass. And speaking of the pop pass, oh, that's coming up, but I guess in two slides, I guess. But this play has worked out. This trick 21 cutback, and even the I-21 cutback play, any of these mid-level plays have really worked out good for us. You could pull some guards and some tackles in here, but this play down this right and down this middle box for us uh, with the with the tailback has worked out really, really good. A lot of time in youth football, these these defenders in here are weaker players, and you could double team them with this and get the tailback shooting right down the middle, especially if you've got some action some sweep actions or some misdirection action. You can go back to the middle. Big, big time play. So check that uh, play out. The trick 21 cutback gut lead uh, right there. Uh, and it's a lead because uh, you can either lead with this wing back or lead with this full back. And right now I actually didn't have them leading on this chart. But uh, you can certainly do that. Uh, the trick double 70 tight end pop pass. So here's the pop pass. Love this. This is a really great formation for this double pop pass because you've got these two split backs. And they can basically just take the place of your two tight ends coming out. You've got this fake with this tight end. And you can actually flare him out here underneath for a screen either side. Works out beautiful. This is a great formation uh, for a uh, quick double pass pop pass uh, the trick formation here so there's some quick plays in the uh, my trick base plays that I run out of the diamond formation which I call trig because there's three backs uh, love that formation came up with it like I said about five years ago watching the Packers and then did some research on it and uh, came up with it so I hope you like it too it's part of uh, my power wing beast offense which a uh, draft playbook is over at uh, my website. So if you like this video on the trig formation plays, 
please give me a thumbs up below. Uh, if you'd like to comment, make some suggestions, or you didn't like it, please uh, leave those below in the comments. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel and get more uh, information about coaching youth football. Uh, please do that. You can share this video to a friend of yours, another coach. That'd be awesome. If you want to support me, you can shop my store. There's a link below. I get a percentage. I've got two books out right now. I've got my 62 uh, my multi-8 youth football defense, which has just been finished. It's on sale over at CoachParker.org. There's a link below. You can actually get this playbook, which is in draft form right now, for 11 bucks, which is really, really cheap. Uh, it's got all the base charts in there, a lot of the meat that you're going to need. Just haven't written a bunch of stuff down yet to make it look like a book. But it's basically your coach's manual. You can get that over at CoachParker.org. Links below. A lot of folks are buying it for the beast offense plays. And uh, if you'd like to donate a few dollars, there's a button up here. You can do that, too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me today. Stay tuned. Uh, next time, as I bring more free coaching uh, content to the football coaching community. Again, this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Remember to play for fun, and winning is always funner. See you guys later. Ciao.